Hey everyone, welcome to Morality, your channel for all React Native content. Today we're going to be talking about the use state hook. So this is a React hook, and it's used to maintain the state of a variable, and it provides a function in which you can update the state of that variable. So we'll go through three examples today. The first one will be using a single initial value and I'll show you that right now so for example if we are counting the number of say bees um, in your garden and you want to keep that count and you have a button where you can press increment and each time you can increment a value so you can keep track of the number of bees in your garden for some reason so in that case, we'll go ahead and say const, just call it state, and we say set state, and we say the use state hook. Now here, what you can do is there's a shortcut to import this. You can press command space, and you can see here there's the use state, so that's going to go ahead and import it. Now you can see it's being imported up here. So we'll set the initial value to zero. So here we have the state, the function to set the value for the state, the use state hook, and then the initial value, and in this case is zero. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add another text under this. And inside here, we're going to say, put the value for state. Let's go ahead, go into the terminal, run expo start. As we can see here, it says disconnected from Metro. So go ahead, press R in the, in the, the node terminal to refresh. Okay, so now we have that. go ahead and use our style here as well just gives us some nice spacing okay so now we can see that we have this value zero so now let's go ahead and add a button capital B it's a self-closing component so we don't have it imported yet from react native so go at the end of the name of the component press control space and you could see here it is here's the component and it imported right here from react native so now we'll go ahead and put a title we'll call it increment and then we're going to need to say what do we want to do when we press it? So let's say, I'm gonna throw an arrow function here. I'm gonna say set state. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say previous state. And we're going to set that to plus one. So it'll increment. We'll save here's our button so now when we press this button this should turn to one and it does now let's say for example that you thought you saw a B but you actually didn't so now we'll go ahead and copy and paste this line now we'll change this to decrement and we'll set this to minus one save it and now we have a decrement button here. So now when we press this, we should get a value of three. And we do. So this is a simple way to uh, maintain the state of, say, exa for example, the number of bees you have in your garden. 
and we could add more functionality if we wanted to so that we couldn't go into the negatives because you could never have a negative value for the number of Bs. The minimum value you can have is zero. So that's one example. The next example I'd like to talk about is uh, what if, for example, someone was counting Bs before you and then your job is to continue counting the number of Bs from that point. So now what we can do is we can change this instead of it being a uh, static value, we can have a function that will pass into here to give us say a random value. So we'll throw in an arrow function here. We'll say math.floor math.random we'll say times 100. Now what this will do right here is this will this will return a value between 0 and 99 integer values so this gives us a value between 0 and 1 non integer so real number multiply that by 100 and then we take the floor of it so the maximum we could have is 99 so now for example if we want to do the same thing if you come down to the terminal could press R to reload and right here where we see 2 this should give us a new random value between 0 and 99 okay as you can see now we have a random number of 87 so that means the previous people counting the bees before you got a total of 87 bees so now you can continue counting by pressing the increment button and now you have 88, 89, 90, and so on. And again, if you forgot or you thought you saw one, you can decrement as well. So that would be a situation where you don't necessarily want to start with a static value because you don't know what the value is. Um, this could be all sorts of other things like um, a dice roll or even a random color, um, anything. So this is how you would use um, a function to initialize the state of a variable. The last case I wanted to talk about is um, you can initialize the state of an object as well. So let me go ahead and show you that. So say for example, you're counting butterflies and bees, for example. Now here you have an object with uh, two key value pairs, butterfly set to zero and B set to zero. Now what you wanna do, if you wanna update those, you can't update it like this, it's a little bit different. Um, so for example, if I hit save, we're gonna get an error and you'll see right here is gonna be a problem. So it says objects are not valid as a react child. Found object with keys, butterflies, bees, you meant to render a collection of children please use an array instead so what we want to do here is we can specify which one do we want to show so now if we want to just show bees or just show butterflies we can do that however when we want to update the state it's a it's slightly different when you have an object so I'm gonna go ahead and comment these out or actually I'll just modify it so what we can do here is so we're going to update the object like this we'll say spread the current value of state and then we're going to say update bees take the current value of bees and increment it by one and I'll copy and paste this for the decrement button, except here I'll put a minus one. And so now we're starting at zero. Let's save and reload. Okay. So now we have zero bees and zero butterflies, but we're gonna update the bees only. So we hit increment, and now we're getting what we expected to see. 
we could decrement as well now if I would have just said remove this and only had B's right here then what's gonna happen is we're gonna set the state with this object so only B's so butterflies here will be completely removed from the object it's gonna overwrite the entire object with only what we have inside here and will cause an error so you need to make sure that you spread the current state or the current value key value pairs that you have for the object and then you just overwrite the one that you want to so that way you can keep still keep butterflies and a whole other list of other insects you're counting or parts for a car or whatever you may have that you want to keep track of So that about covers everything for the use state hook. Um, just keep in mind a couple things that here we do uh, destructure. Uh, we're actually taking the, the first uh, value here is going to be the um, value that we're going to be keeping the state of. And then the second value here is actually a function that we use to update the state as you've seen here where we use set state. Um, and then we take the value here and also the value here. We do something with the here increment and we just display it here. So that's everything for use state. Next, we're going to be going over the other hooks um, in the next couple of videos that we're going to be working on. If you guys have any other things you'd like to see with regards to React Native, um, if you have any comments, uh, please leave them below. Um, we're going to be doing some full builds coming up in the next few weeks or month or so. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see built, if there's any clones you would like to see um, of any apps you're interested in, uh, please leave that down below in the comments. Um, please like and subscribe if you like this content and you want to see more of it. Um, thank you and have a good day.